Okay, so I've got these torn off. I have two here, and then I'm going to flip this over. Um, not necessarily worry about this page, but then I put some, it's an envelope, so I playing with the blue and these browns and natural color. Here's the leaf. I can put it on the outside or I can tuck it in to this area here and just glue it to that page, which I think I'm gonna, even though it's a transparent, it's transparent, I'm gonna actually just kind of, here's my little sheet here, and just kind of glue on there. And I'm just gonna, whoa, got quite a bit there. Just gonna put it on the back here. You could use glue sticks if you want, but I'm just using the gel. All right, let me get this close. Okay, and then the next thing is this little part here. I need it to kind of stick on the back of the envelope. So that would go right in here. Okay, there. And then now this slides in behind it. And there's the leaf. There we are. And then this page here, and I can glue that to the back, which I think I'm going to do right now. Again, no set instructions. You're just working intuitively with things here. Okay. And I can still put some paper over here play with that a little bit. I won't glue that right, right away. And then what I wanted to do is turn this over on this side and I had a little bit of this paper so I have to kind of watch the edge because that's going to get folded up um, but I can extend it longer here. So I'm going to glue that down here and put that in there. Okay. And a little bit of, I got a little bit of blue on my brush. I'll just kind of smear some of that in with it. So it kind of goes with it there. And then we got here. We'll kind of feed into that there. Okay, and now we've got the back side here. I have very little of that blue left. Um, I'll just add some water and fill that in there. And then this here, I've got a little bit of the Van Dyke here. And I'm going to put a little bit here. As you notice, the place gets a little messy, but that's okay. I've got some water. I'm just going to use the acrylics here and just kind of let it bleed a little bit. Now there's a piece of plastic that's there. That's okay. I'm just going to go with it. You can see where the end of that plastic is. There's a line right there, which is kind of cool. Alright, and maybe the edge here, make that a little bit darker. There. Okay. Alright. Need to glue that down or slip some more paper in there. I have that line paper. Um, yep. Oops. All right, I'm going to clean the brush up here. One thing leads to another. I only ended up so far putting one of the leaves on. Now I'm going to put this here. Okay. Do that there, and I will put some more glue back here. And we'll just kind of let this dry a bit before we go further. Okay, we've got the leaf in there, and uh-oh, let's hope this didn't stick. There we go. Alrighty. Move some of these papers out of the way. 
um, one on each page or put two here. I kind of like this here. I can do something else in here and put these in, in there and glue those down. So if you like it, make a choice and work with it. Alrighty, there's that one. And there. I'll put that over that one there. Okay. Alright, we'll let this dry a bit and we'll come back. Okay, so um, I worked on this one here. Um, it's hard to say exactly what I did. Paint, um, a wash, um, stamped with leaves, brought in my gel pens here, um, did some of the stablitos, used some of this, uh, did image transfers here, then attached it to dictionary pages, and then extended this, and I have a stamp and stamp there. And the last thing I put is the word like, um, and then I turn the page here, and this had roses or something on there, flowers. I didn't necessarily like the red, but I like it kind of seeping through there, so we'll see where that goes. This is the back page, and then here is another um, little image transfer uh, clear packing tape on dictionary page of a skeleton leaf. I'm not exactly sure what else I will do with this. Um, I know it's not... I, I would like to add a little bit more detail, maybe emphasize, go back and emphasize these um, X's again in this um, nice uh, salmon color. And um, I put the paper that I was using for that color to pull in, I stuck that page there. So, um, and then this page over here is the back side, and I really like this color. So it's going to transition again here with some other colors. This is an image transfer. I like her, you know, in her overalls that's there. This is a sale paper um, here, uh, probably for shoes or something like that. And then this is uh, a gel plate and then it opens up here. So you can see this can get to be pretty fun here and I'll be changing my colors too. So right now, um, this is, I set myself up to kind of follow what's going on here and I will work with this all um, a little bit more, kind of like back here with her and this page where it says living in the daisies and there's the daisies here and um, flip that up and the strings, yep. Yeah, feels really good today to just sit down and do this. We've got a storm coming in possibly. So um, my time is up right now and i um, off to uh, think about the dinner shift and what needs to go with that. And then maybe come back up later here.